Well, congratulations on the film. I, I think we're all familiar with that idea of music resurrecting memories and indeed other senses as well, but particularly music. And I wondered how much there was a, a personal element in this film for you. Uh, hugely personal. I think music has always affected me in this, such an intense way. Um, I think in terms of just how it em evokes nostalgia in me and uh, takes me back to so many moments in my life was definitely a big part of the reason why I wanted to make the movie. Um, so, you know, whether it's certain songs that are in the movie or just the idea of, of how music has always been a huge and integral part of my experience, whether it's in my personal life or in my work life, um, you know, very personal. So where did the idea of adding time travel come to? Well, there were a few different kind of iterations. I'd read this book by Oliver Sacks called Musicophilia, which is uh, talks about things like musical hallucinations and how music interacts with the brain. Um, because I wanted to sort of explore the emotional power that music has on our experience. Um, and then coupled with that, I uh, I think I just was going through a period where music really was dropping, it was this sort of nostalgia machine and it was really dropping me into the past so often. And I thought, well, maybe I should mess with that idea in terms of a conceit of a movie because music was this, time travel mechanism songs were this time travel mechanism for me and they affected me so intensely so I that's basically what the genesis of the idea was so is the one particular song that really brings back memories for you I have to say when I was watching the film that karaoke sequence <laughs> I'm such a 10cc yeah. fan even now that yeah. took me straight back yeah, Ten CC is a huge song for me. Even like before, you know, Godly and Cream. You know, all the yeah. all those tracks are just so amazing. Um, I think uh, you know, Roxy Music, the Avalon album, was a huge, huge, just musical experience for me growing up. Um, my mom listened to that album over and over and over, so it's ingrained in my DNA. Um, you know, Jamie XX. Uh, I saw him play. Uh, with my wife at Outside Lands in San Francisco, which kind of became the basis for that scene where, you know, they're actually at a music festival with Jamie XX playing. So, um, uh, yeah, I think there was just so much music that really... So choosing all the tracks for the film must mm -hmm. have been an absolutely mammoth task. How did you go about that? And were there any really well-known ones that didn't actually make the final cut? Um... There were some tracks that we struggled with in terms of just getting the licensing on. There's a song by The Tramps called Can We Come Together that I loved that we tried to get that couldn't work. Um, obviously, I ran up against budgetary constraints in certain aspects, but we did have one of the biggest music budgets in Searchlight history, so I was lucky <laughs> enough for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it was really just... Choosing songs that um, I think made sense not only narratively and were helping tell the story, but also to help define the characters. And also there's the randomness aspect of things, like when we're just out in real life, when a car goes by, what would you hear playing out of a top 40 radio station? Or what comes on when the TV's on, when a commercial plays, you know, on an iPhone or... Uh, you know, all of these different random ways that we experience music in our lives, I think we had to think about very specifically on top of the stuff that was very character or narratively driven. Yeah, so it's that moment where you hear something, you think, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> now, you wrote and directed this film. It's actually, I think, the first time you've directed for about 10 years. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. How did you feel about getting back in the director's chair? Terrified, <laughs> but also... I think I've spoken about this a bit. It's, it's just that um, once I sort of got back into it, I realized how much I love doing it. And um, it was like riding a bike. Um, really fun experience. And I had a great team and a wonderful group of actors who I got to work with. So it was a pretty special experience. So which do you feel most comfortable with, writing or directing? Or are they two, two halves of the same group? I mean, they're both 
they're both awesome experiences. I, th- I, I love writing. I love the experience of writing. I feel really lucky that I get to do it every day to pay the rent. Um, and, you know, when I get the chance to direct a film, I think it's one of the more awesome creative experiences because you just are making so many decisions and you're in such a creative space that you really don't have time to be neurotic, um, which is kind of great because I'm neurotic sometimes. <laughs> the list of films that you've been involved with are all so very different from Black Widow to to this one. I wondered what attracts you to a project in the first place. What sort of makes it jump out at you? Um, I think I try... I don't know. I try to make every project a different experience. I, I try to tackle things that I think I need to learn about so it becomes a learning experience in the process of writing it particularly in a lot of writing I've done for other people um but I think um I think it's really just like that I feel like I can do a good job with the characters and and you know find a story that um I think creatively fulfills me and the people who get to work on it with me and your next one was announced a few weeks back and is completely different again mm-hmm. by the sound of it. And yeah. You'll be working with Andrea Arnold mm-hmm. and you've got Scarlett Johansson in mm-hmm. it as well. And this, is, this is Featherwood. Yeah. Uh, that sounds kind of exciting. Uh, yeah, very, <laughs> very exciting story. Very, um, really interesting research and intense world down in um Texas but yeah it was a, it was a really interesting research process and just building that story and building that world was something totally different so how far a, down the line is it the script is finished and uh we're just figuring out schedule when they're going to shoot so maybe end of the year beginning of next year 